This is the Timor Crystal Eye B75. It's a, it's a flat bottom dripper. I know I haven't even tried the flat bottom dripper. Someone from the comments um, suggested that I make a video comparing the Timor B75 to a Pegasus. I'm not sure why, but yes. So I got a Timor B75 and we're gonna brew with it today. Let's unbox this thing. Okay, so when you open the box, um, there is some writing in here, which is in Mandarin, I think. And then the brewer is um, encased in a plastic with bubble wrap, so it's very safe. And, oh, I need to mention this. They even have a foam filler inside. And it comes with 325 um, pieces of the paper filter. The Timer B75 comes in two colors. This is the black one. Um, they call it amber black, but I don't think it's amber. And it is available in clear, which looks like a crystal. It's actually very elegant. It's a nice looking dripper. I haven't used the flat bottom dripper, so this is going to be my first. So we're gonna brew some coffee and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about the coffee it makes. And then after we've, we've familiarized with this, maybe we can do the comparison video with the Hario Pegasus. For this video, we're gonna use the Ethiopia beans from Candid Coffee. Um, the Timor Crystal IB65 is only limited to 30 to 16 gram doses so for this video I'm going to make a 13 13 gram dose coffee so that is 200 milliliters of water we're gonna brew a bit coarser this time so I'm doing 21 clicks on the Comandante We're gonna preheat. I asked a lot of my friends how to brew on a flat bottom dripper. Um, they all said the same thing, it, that it brews very consistently. It's a very re repeatable brewer, so. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four pours of 50 ml. And then we're gonna time it every um, 30 seconds, right? Okay, now we're just waiting for the water to go down. And... It's a bit strong. Actually, earlier today, um, my friend Pat told me that if I want an acidic or light brew, um, I should go for two equal pours of 100 ml. And if I want a stronger cup or earthy and sweet, um, I should go for four pours. So yes, that's what we're getting now. Oh. So in this case, it's a, I would say that it's a very predictable brewer. Unlike in the V60, if you missed something, the taste will change, the brew will change a lot. I like the coffee. It's sweet and earthy and has a thick mouth feel. I will be playing with the Crystal IB75 for the next few days before I make the comparison video with the Pegasus. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye.